This is my very first time in Israel. I'm very excited, and uh, I feel this is going to be a great trip for me. Uh, great trip for me, uh, emotionally, spiritually, and I hope to get a lot out of it. I can't wait to see your beautiful country. Why it's important to believe in Israel and support Israel and be here and come here, and. I always heard that and thought about it, but I never really considered it until I got here and that the powerfulness of being here in country, being in Israel and talking to people from Israel and what it means for them to be here and live here really inspires me to want to come back and to make sure I come back with my family again. But really, where life really begins and where really this, this all is headed is that we have the ability to become and learn anything if we're willing to choose what's hard, if we're willing to lean into, the, into discomfort, if we're willing to choose and, 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 and actually begin to, to crave the harder decision. There are thousands of people that are dying to take this walk, that cannot get into this country right now. Our friends, our family, we are here now to represent them. We have an opportunity like few others in the world right now. This is our moment right here, right now. We just came from the Kotel. We were dancing, we were singing. Israel is alive. It is here and it's in us. Being here together with our brother from, uh, from the US, our Jewish brother, and seeing the thing from their perspective and feel their curiosity and uh, passion about Israel and the Judaism and learn from us, it's really amazing. Every day, every minute, a lot of us are observing a lot of laws. So can't we spend a week together without putting each other in boxes? Oh, he's the reform guy, and he's the conservative guy, and he's the uh, orthodox guy, and he's the Hasidic guy. This has been an amazing experience. Uh, it's my first time to Israel, and uh, you know I think about uh, my family from Poland that never got a chance to come to Israel. I lost uh, most of my family in the show in Poland. Um, my grandparents on, on my mother's side and my grandparents on my father's side, so four. That's really all, all that survived the Holocaust. Uh, so to be here and thinking about them has just been it's hard to put into words, quite honestly. Yesterday we had a chance to visit Yav Hashem. And I was walking through it, walking through it, walking through it. And then I just realized, oh my God, all these people, they look like my grandpa. But when I walked through the children's part, um, that was a very difficult moment. Um, because one of the first names that I heard was, you know, Mikhail from Ukraine and the kid was eight years old. And that's exactly my name. And that really touched me a lot. And just knowing how many kids died and how they weren't able to continue with the future, it hurts a lot. So I'm very thankful for this trip, for everything that's happening. And I'm blessed and glad to be in Israel again. You know what it means to be part of something bigger than yourself? The fact that you're here, each of you, is the reason why we have a trip. Responsibility leads to ability. We have no idea what we can accomplish until we're willing to go out of our comfort zones and do stuff we've never done before. Who we are is something that we've never met.